Hey, today I'll be showing you how to create the 3D glasses effect in Photoshop. Here I'm using uh, Photoshop CS4 because I don't have CS5. I didn't buy it. So here I have a, a simple picture of new, the New York Times Square. I'm just gonna expand my picture frame and so just have a clearer image. Uh, so first, what you wanna do is uh, make the picture grayscale in grayscale black and white because if you don't do that the 3d image won't really pop out of the image so but if you if you don't want to make it uh, black and white it's up to your choice but uh, here I'm gonna make it black and white the first thing you can do to make it black and white is to change the hue and saturation by bringing the saturation all the way down as you can see uh, the image is turned to black and white uh, the other way is to go to the gradient map sorry is to go to gradient map and select this one the one with the black and white so as you can see it's black again you have two options uh, for making the picture black and white okay so I'm gonna press OK after that you would have your picture here and what you want to do is duplicate your layer. So after duplicating your layer, you can rename it anything you want. I'm just going to leave it like that. And you're going to have this. So after that, you're going to... Um, well, actually, there's no shortcut here. You're going to have uh, to press Command-A on the Mac or Control-A if you're on a window. So I'm just going to press Command-A, which selects the entire picture. Then you press... Uh, command C for the Mac or Control C to copy the entire image. So Command C, and after that you can delete your original image. So I can just delete the layer. Okay. After that I can paste it. So if you, when you want to paste it, you can press Command V. So as you can see here, a layer one is formed over this background. Okay, so this is the part where you go to your background, you right click, sorry, uh, you go to the layer you have made and you go to blending options because the background is locked. After that, you untick the red. So you untick it and the red will appear here, you press OK. So you just, uh, you have your cursor here and you drag and you get the 3D effect. You can move it to your left or your right to position it wherever you want but as you can see it's an overlapping image so if you want to move it to the left or right it's up to your decision um, it's best to uh, make it as close as possible to make the most realistic effect so as you can see it looks kind of realistic and this is how you make the 3D effect in Photoshop thanks for watching